y'all it's hope at crafty hope and welcome i have been to the dollar tree like twice in the past couple days and have refrained from putting things away because i needed to record real quick what i got so popping that on real quick i'll add that to whatever else comes next but let me show you what i got the dollar tree um of course i went down the craft aisle and i picked up some dowels just because I, you know, you can never quite have enough dowels. I, I'm sure, I think I'm looking across the room and can see some more of these. But when I find them, I get them. They used to sell them longer. And I gave all those to my husband. And uh, yeah, so I'm hoping these shorter ones are okay. Anyway, I got that. I also found some of these wood slices. This is the first time I have seen them without like holes punched in them. So I think they will be fun to work with later. I haven't done a whole lot, but I did get a strip of uh, elastic, not elastic, what is this stuff? Hook and loop attachment. So basically Velcro. Um, they call it fastener strip. I hope this is sticky back, but I am thinking maybe it is not looking at it. So that may end up having to go away. I also picked up a doll head. This is just one of those heads that they call it a styling head. So you can do like hair and stuff. But I thought it might be neat somehow since it's a larger head for some of my assemblage. And the last thing I got uh, at the checkout was this little sewing kit. I kind of want to throw it in my purse and maybe have it for my 100 day project thinking that if I have scraps of things or things like that I can real quick sew it together so I'm gonna open this real quick to see what's in here because I'm kind of oh I'm not seeing any oh wait there are okay so there is a little container here with buttons awesome straight pins and safety pins awesome there's several what is that like six things of thread and of course i could throw some embroidery floss in here there's a tiny pair of well these don't even open awesome i'll have to work on that um little scissors that's the big thing i wanted okay they're just yeah they're not great so <laughs> i'm hoping look at that these just fall off i may have to glue them back on um but to cut the thread that would be awesome there i may just have to work at them um of course a little container of needles which is fabulous a threader and a paper Ooh, i like that that is a paper measuring tape so i may just pull that out to throw in <laughs> with my paper for collage and then a little thimble so again that i probably won't use but if i do use this it's yeah so for a dollar 25 i think that's not bad to get all of these little bits of supplies they're not great but they could be used for something small so i'm excited about that all right i've got another set of things from the dollar tree i'm gonna go grab and i'll be back all right i've zoomed out for this i went into the dollar tree looking for a planter because i was gifted a pretty little philodendron plant from somebody and i needed a nice planter for it so um, I went looking for that and saw these. I've been looking for these for years, ever since I saw somebody talk about them here on YouTube. And they are these, you can see, kind of a three thing and they stack, y'all. I don't know if you can see that, but they stack. So I can see stacking. I bought four, so I can do two stacks, I think. You can stack them higher, but I think it gets in the way of everything and i think i'm gonna do or ooh, do some herbs in it if i can find a spot somewhere to put them but it's already warming up here so i need to start thinking about planning things so i'm super excited like i said i've been looking for those for years i also picked up some clearance valentine candy because yeah i always like to keep a stash of candy somewhere and this is it's only five little pieces so whatever I was also super here for my bag. Super excited to find some more of this. I think they call it metal ribbon. And I found some last year, the year before. And y'all, I was so super excited. I'd never seen anything like it. And so I picked up, I think I have this one in my stash already. Because when I picked it up before, there were only two kinds. I think this one and one that I used in my cracklehead doll assemblage i'll put a link up here so you can see it 
but I'd use it for a crown and anyway so I had like two of these and two of those other ones and didn't see any other kinds but this time they had a few others so I picked up these other three metal ribbon designs I don't know how I'll use them I mean they're great for my assemblage um maybe can use in some jewelry I'm not positive it's awful sharp so we'll see and then I got a correction fluid pen I haven't seen one of these in a while I've seen the liquid like brush on correction fluid at the Dollar Tree but I haven't seen the pens in a while and they are great for mark making in uh, collage and mixed media work so I grabbed that and I think that was everything for this Dollar Tree trip so if I make it to a thrift store or somewhere else where I've scored some other thrifty deals I will add that on here all right I happened to run to Hobby Lobby looking for something specific. I hardly ever buy anything there, um, but I happened to hit on a, I guess they just put some stuff on clearance and found a bunch of really great clearance hauls. So I thought I would pop in and share with you what I got. And so what did I get? Let me see. It's, yeah, hold on. <laughs> So this was all from the paper section. I got a set of three water brushes for 62 cents, y'all. 62 cents. I am pretty happy. I'm kind of, as I was checking out, I was like, wait, did they have more of those? Why didn't I get more of those? So I also got these sponge tip applicators for 87 cents. Um, I think they will work really great on like maybe distress ink to ink edges of things, or at least I'm going to try. I know that uh, Ricky of Ricky Ticky Tabby mentioned the other day that she has a hard time getting in like crevices of things and I was thinking a q-tip would work um but then I saw these so I grabbed that also there were these for $1.24 which are just little like little label things you can put on the front of something so and they had another kind but I didn't really like the design of those they let's see also that in that section they had a bunch of Tim Holtz stuff which I cannot resist so I got these which are backdrops so they're just like paper backdrops um it says they're printed memorabilia papers so I'm I'm gonna guess they're just papers so I'm excited about that because Tim Holtz papers yes they had one of these uh, dis display panels, which, oh my gosh, well, I'm zoomed way further in than I thought. Okay, so one of these display panels, so this is a nice, I don't know, like 8x8 eight eight square maybe? Um, that I think could be really neat for some of my assemblage. So, that is nice. What else did I get? Some holes. Oh, yeah. Um, I got two Distress Oxides that I did not have, Picked Raspberry and Dusty Concord. So I got those two for $1.49 each. Fabulous. And then, and y'all, this is one thing I kept going back and forth on whether I was going to get it, but it's these alcohol inks. Regularly $25 for this set of eight for $6.24. And they're in blues and greens and then this gilded alloy. And, you know, they're just colors I love. So I went ahead and got it. I didn't really need more alcohol inks, but the most of them, for the most part, are colors I do not have. I think I have this citrus, but I don't think I have the rest of these colors. So I can't help myself. So then I went over to the jewelry section, of course, and the first thing I found and grabbed immediately was some of this Ultimate Paint. This is from Vintage, I believe. I'm trying to find their label. Um, I can't find it. But anyway, I've been wanting some of this Ultimate Paint. I think they're a bit like the Vintage Patinas, but they're apparently like even better. So they're good for wood, resin, metal, leather, and more. And it was marked down from $15 to $3.74. And like I said, it's been something I've been wanting, so I snapped that baby up. Um, just above that, they had some... Of these wood things um, marked down from seven dollars to a dollar seventy four they only had a couple designs the other design I liked was missing a whole piece so I was like meh never mind but I really like this like moth butterfly here was their whole reason I got this so and the others are fine but I thought that would be fun to do um, I don't know I'm tempted to go back and get one of the other designs 
because now that I'm looking at this, I realize that these openings would be good to fill in with resin. Huh. Yeah. So, and I'm, I'm not sure why this has a big old hole in it, so. I, uh -uh. Okay. What else? Um, this resin mold that are keys was $1.74, and, um, yeah. So, I like that. And then, a ton of the Impress Art stuff was on clearance, and I got this $18 metal punch for $4.49 and it's probably probably the same size as this one this is my 1.5 millimeter this it's I think it's a 1.6 millimeter so it's slightly bigger maybe because it says one comma six millimeter I don't know what that means um but it's one one sixteenth of an inch so I don't know um anyway and it, I like that it has what what it will work on so that was my clearance haul from Hobby Lobby y'all I am tickled to pieces with getting these prices like I said I don't hardly ever buy anything from Hobby Lobby unless it's on clearance so when I catch them marking all this down it makes me super happy all right I will tack on anything else to this that comes up if got another haul this time there's actually some thrift stuff included first though I did go to another Hobby Lobby, and there may be more that I'm going um, to the biggest city around me, which is Mobile tomorrow, and I might, I might hit up Hobby Lobby over there and see, but um, um, they did not have much of the scrapbook section marked with the clearance yet, so that one I may have to try again next week. Sorry for the crinkly, but a lot more of the jewelry section was marked down. They did have these, which I went ahead, and this was the one I didn't get the other day because one of these little shapes was missing, but they had the full set, so I got it, and I got another one of these because it's just so pretty, and then this one, and um, now that I figured out that those are to be filled with resin, I'm much more keen on them. So those were regularly $7 each that were marked down to $1.74, so that was a great deal. A lot of the metal gallery stuff was marked down, so these I love these brass leafy bead caps these are really six dollars i got them each for 99 cents Woo. um also in that section are these copper ones i haven't had any of these before but i just thought they were really pretty so those were i don't know regular 8.99 and marked down to dollar 12 um also where the wood things were they had these Mushroom open bezels that were marked down to $1.24. There were these super cute owl um, beads for $0.99 cents I had to get. And then some of the chain was marked down, so I got these two tiny, tiny ball chains. They're brass, and they were $0.74 cents each. So I got two of those, and then there's a gunmetal one here that I got for $0.62. Cents. And then over in the, like, um wedding and fabric section they kind of have their clearance stuff all together over there found this roll of like fake pearl stuff it's a some kind of trim and it's from the wedding section but I got it for 250 it's 75 feet of it and I think it could be really great for accenting things in assemblage so that was Hobby Lobby um, another great little clearance haul let me see. I'm trying to see if I've got some place to put all that. Um, from there, I did go to a thrift store. And what is it? It's called America's Thrift Stores, I think. I, I think it's some kind of chain. There's probably one near where you live. But they've got one of my favorite things is they have these bags of things. And today was orange was 30% off and yellow was 50% off. I saw not a single yellow <laughs> in the store. But I am super excited. I want to open this bag. Um, so this may be a long video because we're going to open this bag. If I can get it open. Oh. Scissors would help. But I bought this for one thing in particular. Um, it, let's see, it's marked at $3.99 to $4. So I think I paid, what is that, $4, uh, $2.40. I think that's right. So anyway, there are a couple of like plastic, like this looks like a softball and a basketball. Um, oh, look, a Nerf dart. There's this cute, y'all, you know, these I probably played with when I was a kid. 
Look at this guy. I love him. Um, oh my gosh, there is a is this a plastic folding chair? That's what it looks like, but it's missing a leg or something. I don't know. I wonder if that's like I don't know. It looks like some kind of plastic folding chair, but I could be wrong. Um, a little base of a trailer. Um, this will probably go away. I don't like cloth things. Um, a wood block, some kind of cog with a finger puppet shark stuffed in it. That will go away. A wood piece, um, a cute little maze, a tiny little book that will get redonated. Some of this will get redonated. This, I don't even know. If I can like adhere that to something to spin it. I'm not really sure what that is for. Okay. That's some kind of fake nail or something. Maybe that's the inside. I don't know. Um, a rubber ducky. Now this is the thing I bought it for y'all. Look at this gargoyle. I love him. I want to paint him and accent him so that he's a little, his wings especially are a little rubbery. Um, there was another bag I saw in the store that had another one of these in it, but I was already stuck on this bag. Um, little brush. Um, some kind of block. A big shoe. This is probably for some kind of doll. Um, oh, it says Alexander. Do you think that's like Madame Alexander? That would be weird. Um, I don't know what that is. It's something with the minion on it. <laughs> um, a little sea turtle. That will go away an army man look at that i love this y'all this little posable rabbit it's velveteen but you know plastic with the velvet on it i'd like him a lot um a little people um i just have several of these little people in them so those are really fabulous oh these feel like spin or something i don't know um that's the helmet or something. I don't know what that is. Alright, texture is what it is. Um, this is a memory maze game. Oh, it's off. I wonder if it works. Oh, it does. Oh, y'all. That's funny. Okay, let's we'll turn that off. <laughs> um, another cog. A dory. Um, this was neat. It hasn't been popped out yet, but it's like it's like road construction things like the little cones and like a warning thing and then there's some kind of oh I think this is one of those disc thrower things but it you know it's really kind of cool all right let me shove all this back in here so I thought that bag was really neat and y'all I got three bags of different things so we've got two more to go through <laughs> real quick <laughs> one of them won't be too bad um but yeah well neither one of them this was the big one that had like all the stuff in it that I just wasn't sure what all was in there. Alright, I also got this bag. You can see it's an orange tag, so it was also 30% off. And you know, it's kids' books, but these look like they're a little bit older. So let's see. All right, so there's a Puss in Boots, and it is definitely kind of old. I'm trying to, 1979. Let me see, maybe it's zooming out a little bit. Okay, um, but yeah, that's, it's cute. And then there's, a, oh, y'all, Hansel and Gretel. Look at that. So is it the same age? It doesn't have its, no, 1970 for this one. And like it's got, I really like these like black and white pages. And then there's a frog prints. These are five. These make me think of my childhood. Maybe that's why I grabbed this. <laughs> this one's 79. The Tale of Benjamin Bunny. Um, nineteen eighty-one. So those are neat. Um, this one's a little bit newer. Um, my Lucky Day. So some of this will get donated back. Oh, a bargain for Francis. Y'all look. 
This is cute. Um, this is 1970. I knew this was an older one. I definitely remember seeing this as a kid. All right, then the big pets. Um, this looks fairly new. 1991. Got some neat images. Muncha, muncha, muncha. Um, okay. This is definitely new. It's very shiny. 2002. And then there's, oh, y'all, does it have, oh, I had these. The, the books and the recording with the record, I had several of these growing up. And I might have actually had a Peter Pan one. Oh, look at Tinkerbell. So, oh, y'all, this is so reminiscent. And it's got the little album. I love it. I love it. Okay, and then there's another front prints. Um, let's see how old this one is. Um, 1974. So yeah, these are definitely older than me, some of them. So I think that was a sweet deal. I am happy with those. And then the other bag I got um, was $3.99 for $4. And it is almost all Jingle Bells. But that's not what I got it for. <laughs> what I got it for. We got it open. Scissors. make sure let's see this is all yes people bells I don't know what I'll do with all those but I bought it because the bottom of it was this bag let me show you what that is if you can't see it it's bezels all kinds of bezels y'all look at those I am super excited about it since my 100 day project is mini assemblage or one of my 100 day projects is mini assemblage I could totally do some little assemblages in these I think these are the I think it's just these four different types in here but I am absolutely thrilled with that these are super nice so four dollars and that's you know four dollars worth of bezels I think and then I got one other thing at the thrift store that, uh, yeah, I'll show you. Um, oh, I don't know if I can get it in here. It is this like lantern. Um, I got it for three dollars. It's definitely been distressed and outside in somebody's yard. Um, it's got a candle and some like what do you call it? like the fish pellet things down there? Uh, gravel. And it's nice, but I love y'all this like rusty metal up here makes me so happy um so i'm tempted to even just take this you know unscrew the hinges and take this lid off to um put it on top of some kind of assemblage so that was oh, that was all from the thrift store and then lastly i went i went to, to the dollar tree and i got some Hook and, what do you call, hook and loop fasteners. These are stick on ones. The other stuff I bought is not stick on. I got more of that metal tape, um, which I'm wondering if I can rust it the way I just saw the way that lantern's rusted. What else did I get? Oh, I got another one of these silicone. If I can, silicone. Can you see that? Silicone facial spreaders. Um, because I've been using one and I only have the one with my matte acrylic medium so I thought another one and I got pink so I can find it when it's on my desk <laughs> so whew, I did go to Michael's and get a couple things the only thing I got really of interest well I mean I got some things that like I didn't have like Fabri-Tac and things like that but um as far as thrifty I got the set of three gold display cases on clearance for ten dollars so that's what I went there for was that in adhesives so oh and I did get y'all if y'all watch me I did get some more gold liquid decks so woo woo um yay all right that is everything um I, I don't know if there'll be more if there is I will tack it on in at the end all right y'all this is probably the last on this video and I my husband and I went to an estate sale. I had seen the pictures online that it was pretty tool heavy, like the gentleman had been a woodworker and my husband is a woodworker. So 
I talked him into going and yeah so and apparently the wife was into or at least somebody it, it just seemed very male female um kind of hate those stereotypes but it felt like me and my husband <laughs> so there was an art studio and a woodworking as well as the household goods so um yeah I'm gonna show you what I got the first thing I picked up was this hammer I don't even know what kind of this almost looks like it's some kind of hatchet blade on one end. I don't know. Um, it is rusty, so I may... Uh, my husband's got some, like, rust solution stuff. I may trade it. I don't know. But it's also got paint. My big thing, though, is I really liked this end. Because I think I might can use it for riveting, like, in tight spaces. So, super excited about that. I saw that in the pictures online and was like, I want that hammer. And fortunately, it was still there. All the wood that they had had for sale was sold and that was the main thing my husband was interested in <laughs> so he did get a couple ball peen hammers too but I got everything else I got this the next thing I picked up were these y'all the um in the art studio there were two of these which are the alcohol ink storage tins two of them four dollars each I know that they retail for about eight dollars each so half off I thought was a great deal and since I just picked up those alcohol inks this week um um, I, yeah, I thought this was timely. <laughs> so I went ahead and grabbed both of those because I also have some other, um, my vintage patinas are just kind of stored in another thing and rattling around. So both of those are going to be needed. Um, there was a stack of uh, drywall tape, a couple of ones that I pr have already. But then there was this one, which is more of a straight on grid. So I got that. And then a couple of... Um, what do you call these? Sketchbooks, I guess. This one is a Strathmore, and it's the gray. Y'all, I haven't ever worked on the gray paper. So I thought that could be really fun. I think I got each of these for a dollar or two. I don't remember, because they weren't marked. And then this is some Bristol paper. I don't know what you do with, really with Bristol paper. I've heard people talk about it. I don't know if it's for watercolor, or this is Sketch Drawing Bristol Watercolor. No, I think that's the Strathmore's. Anyway, if you tell me what you do with Strat with Bristol paper, um, but I picked up this. I, there's not mm, maybe eight to ten pages in it, but yeah. So that and that was it for the estate sale, y'all. That was I think this past week has been a fabulous haul of things. I've been I don't know, kind of just feeding my my need to shop to pick up my my mood. So. Um, I think that's everything. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for coming by and watching. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and I will see y'all very soon. Bye. Bye.